Hey everyone, this is Monkey1000 and today I have a project I want to do. I found it on uh, Facebook of all places. They have some D, what do they call them, you know, um, pro projects I guess, art projects and stuff. Uh, um, every once in a while pops up on my Facebook, you probably get them too. So I'll scroll on them and find ideas and I thought this was kind of a cool idea. And you could use it as a Christmas gift if you wanted to, um, you know, or you could use it in your own home. And I'm probably using my own home. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I will. Anyway, so what we got to do, I'm going to bring you down so you can see what projects, what stuff I need. And we'll go from there. Okay. All right. Oops, sorry. i make this tighter for you. There we go. Okay guys, so what we're going to need, we're going to need some balloons, okay? I just went to Dollar General. I was going to go to Dollar Tree, but um, I ran out of time the other day with my mother, so I just ran down to Dollar General and got these. They were just a dollar, so, and you're only going to need as many as you want. You'll see what I'm going to do. You're going to need some glue, and I got some of these lights. The little fairy lights that you call them or whatever they're like and that's what they're gonna look like they give you a little button here I thought they were cute and um, I got three of those and then I have this twine that I got from Dollar Tree I already had it so I'm gonna use that and we will get this thing on the roll so just stay tuned okay guys so I put some gloves on because I'm going to be working with glue and I don't want it all over me, my hands. So <clears throat> what we're going to do, we're going to blow up the balloon to the size that you want. And what you're going to do, you're going to make these balls with the balloons. Now you only need, I'm only going to do three. You could do four, you can do as many as you like, you could do all kinds, okay? And what you're going to do is blow them up, as you see, I'm going to show you that I'm going to be blowing a heffin and puffin here for a moment and we'll do this real quick. So I'm going to do them at different levels. I might not be able to use these gloves right this second because I have to tie it. And so here we go. Okay. So we're going to make it one here, okay? And you're just going to put as much air in it as big as you want, okay? Um, but I don't want them huge. You know, you're, not, uh, you're not doing it so it's huge. It's just, it's a decoration that you use in your home. And you'll see. Uh, gosh. Okay, so I tied it off and I have one, okay? And I maybe we'll do just one at a time so you can see, okay? So I'm going to take out the glue out of here and I got a container so I can throw this container away. I don't have to keep it. And I'm going to put my glue in here. Okay. Now, I think, is this a different color? Let me see. Then this, uh, it might be. I was going to use some of that I had left over, but I'm going to use the brand new stuff and just go from there, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to cut this off. And if I can find where it starts at. Let me see here. Ooh, there it is. Okay, so. <coughs> Excuse me. And what you're going to do, <coughs> you're going to wrap it around. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm choking it up. I'm going to show you. So, anyways, what you're going to do, you're going to wrap this around, okay? Your balloon. And you want it whatever size. <coughs> it's that med. I took it 
and it causes trouble. <laughs> yeah. Makes you cough. I hate it. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm put my gloves back on so you'll see. Ugh. <laughs> you don't have to wear gloves. I, uh, you know, you can wash your hands if you want, but you know, I just don't want it all over me. So I'm putting the gloves on. Okay. I hope, hopefully this mic's not rubbing. Here, let me move it a little bit. It won't rub. Okay. So <clears throat> I cut some off, as you see. I'm going to put it in the glue. And you're going to get it all full of glue. Okay. And just get it all full of glue. This is kind of a messy job. But we can do this. And then just take the excess off like that. Yeah, it's like a paper mache kind of thing, I guess. But it's with a balloon. And then you're going to take this and you're going to wrap it. And I'll let you see the first one and then I will do the other ones on my own. Mm. So, and then I'm going to take some more. And, you know, you don't want to make them too long, but you know, make them long enough. <clears throat> and I'm going to do another one. And you remember those balls that you can buy and, and they're for decoration? Well, this is what you're making. And, but you're making it on your own. So you're kind of doing your own little thing. So I'm going to kind of crisscross it. You can do whatever you want. You can make it the way you want. Um, and kind of make it meet as best as you can. Ooh, this is going to be messy. Ah! Yeah. Messy, messy. So. Uh, I guess I'm going to get the scissors all full of glue, too. And then you just put it in here and just keep doing it. Make sure you get it all good because you want it to stick. And there we go. I mean, just make your own design. It doesn't have to be perfect. <clears throat> but it's cool, you know. And can't get the scissors. And you just keep on doing it. And you want to take the excess off. No, I don't want to have it too much gluey or it won't dry. And I see this going this way. And it's kind of, you know, you could use this as a, a Christmas gift if you wanted. And you could probably use a uh, color twine if they have it for Christmas, you know, green, red, something like that. Um, they may. Or you could just make it this way. You know, this is going to be a big one. <laughs> Bigger than I thought. I probably shouldn't have made it so big. But that's okay. The next ones will be smaller. And you just kind of crisscross it the best you can. Don't worry about the balloon. It's just your mold. But you want it to be tight too. You don't want it to 
be loose as much as you can. It's kind of, I think I'll put one this way. Oh, messy. That's why I put gloves on. And I did it on the table because I didn't want it all over my new counter. And I got some cardboard here, so. Because I don't have any newspaper. We don't really have paper, newspaper much anymore. We don't really, um, you know, read the newspaper anymore, so. I don't buy it. So, as most of you probably know, you don't buy it either. <laughs> Everybody goes on the internet for most stuff. And I think I'm going to do it like this. Maybe. <laughs> if he'll do it. Do what I want it to do. Hopefully this is going to work out. So I thought it was kind of a cool idea. So I need to put something here. We need to go down. And this one needs to be pulled together a little bit better. I'm trying to even them out so then you don't have all the twine everywhere, you know. And you can kind of just put it wherever. Uh, this one's a little loose, which I'm not happy about. Uh, I can make it tighter though. There we go. Just gotta do what you can and take your time. I mean, it's not a thing that you're gonna really want to go real fast either. And I need to put it, put some on this side. Yeah, it looks naked over here. Ugh. As it's coming apart, yep. the internet always makes things easier than what they are. So, I could probably hold it up a little bit, maybe. That might help. Because, see, this is coming unraveled. Oh, God. Because it's not wanting to um, dry. It's the ends more than anything. Yeah, I'm trying to put them all kind of together and they'll dry, hopefully. Hmm. So, we'll see if this works. It should really hold it up with something, maybe. Once I dry it, I will. Ugh. All right, let's put some more on here. Okay. This is going to take a while. Yeah. So. It'll take a little bit. And I'm going to go like this. This way. And put it over here. Put some over here. Cause I got too much over there. I don't like that really. Ugh. It's really, really messy. <laughs> I decided to do something messy. Oh well. <clears throat> I thought it was really kind of pretty. And I hope it works. So. And what you're going to do with the fairy lights, too, you're going to pop the balloon after it dries, and then you're going to put the fairy lights inside of it. So then you can, um, so you can light it up. And it'll look really pretty, I think, if it gets done and it sticks like it's supposed to. 
Yeah, so. Oh, that was perfect. Yeah, right? Okay, there. Oh, I'm back. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to turn you guys off so you don't have to watch the whole thing. I'm going to get it done and then we'll come back and I'll show you. Okay guys, this is like messy and it's going to take a while. This is not going to happen overnight. Um, you have to let this dry and what I'm going to do because the ends are keep coming off as you can see see how the ends are coming off I'm going to try to put them back up there and um, I'm going to let this part dry and I'm going to see how much more I want to put on here and um, you want to make them tight as possible but they're just coming off I guess maybe because of the glue I don't know um, Anybody that's ever made one of these, let me know. I don't even know what you call them. But I thought they were really cool. And I thought it would be a cool project and also it would be a nice thing to have in my home. So, and you see I got a hot mess going on over here. But I'm just trying to keep this twine from, you know, kind of coming apart. And I'm trying to blend them in. See, they're just coming off, so... Um, yeah, they, I think I need to let it dry for a little bit and, um, and then go from there and see what I, and I'll also be able to tell more, um, you know, what I want to put on there. So we're going to let it dry up a little bit. Maybe I'll work on another one, a smaller one, why this is kind of doing its thing. So I'm going to wash my hands because I just touched that, all that glue. And um, I'm going to do a smaller one and um, see how that goes. Maybe making it smaller might help a little bit too. So we'll try to, to do a smaller one. I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I made the other one kind of. I'm, I'm doing it only halfway and then I want it to dry a little bit and then I'm going to put some more on here. Because I think if you put too much at, at one time without it drying in between, it's just kind of falling apart. So this way you have a little bit more control to get these pieces. It's the end pieces that are the problem um, for gluing. So I don't know if I'm not putting enough glue on the ends or if I'm putting too much on there. And it's got to dry. So I'm going to let this dry and let the other one dry and then we'll come back and see what we got and then I'll put some more on top I mean uh, this is not it this is not finished so I want to put some more you're supposed to pretty much hide the balloon as much as you can or as much you want to so I let them dry and go from there and the end pieces I'll probably have to put some more glue on because they're not staying the end pieces are just they're they're falling off so um yeah so we'll have to see how this works and hopefully it will because i mean i think it's a cool project this is going to take a while this is not a, a snap and five minute thing so it's just it's kind of like you take your time let it dry do some more let it dry until you're happy with it and then then it could leave, leave it and let it completely dry so this could be a, a little bit I do have to work during the week so I don't get home until late so um, yeah it might have to wait until next weekend before I can put this up um, we'll see if I get home in the evenings I might be able to do a little bit in the evenings uh, as we go so um, but I'm gonna let it dry for right now and I'll come back in an hour or two and um, see see how well it works they may work just fine uh, it may not take that long to dry but we'll see anyways um i'm going to take a break and we'll come back and it won't take long for you guys because you'll see this whole video and um we'll we'll see but i want you to know the truth because you know a lot of these ones that are on the internet they make it look like it's so easy to do these and then once you start doing them they're not as easy as you think so um you know i want you to keep that in mind too 
why you're doing this. But I think, you know, some people are handier than others. I'm not the craftiest person on earth, but I do try. And, um, you know, and it's fun. It is fun. It's relaxing. Gives you something to do on a rainy day. It is a sunny day today um, for a change. Um, but uh, it's a Sunday and, you know, we're just relaxing. So why not, right? Work on it. So anyways, I'll be back after a bit and we'll see how well it dries. Okay guys, so I pretty much have got everything done. I'm just going to let them dry overnight. Hopefully when I get home tomorrow night I might have some time to, to see if I want to add any more to them or to see how well they look before I break the balloon. Um, but I made them kind of a little bit bigger than I should have. I should have made this this size and this this size and then had a smaller one. But I got an idea because this is kind of, they're kind of bigger than what I thought. So hopefully my idea will work and we'll see. So stay tuned and uh, we'll be back when these things are dry in a snap. Okay, everyone, we are back. We are on the next day. They are hard. Hopefully you can see these. Yep, you can see them. That kind of made this too big. I know, but it is my first time. I didn't realize I probably should have went with these two and one smaller than these two, but that's okay. We live and learn, right? So what we're going to do now, we are going to pop these lovely little doodads and then we're going to put the lights in them. I also stopped at Dollar Tree tonight and I want to, because of the lights here, okay, you have the little box for your switch. So what I want to do, I kind of wanted to hide it with some of this so we can kind of cover the box up a little bit so you don't have to see the box, you know. So anyways, we're going to try this and see what happens. So here we go. We're going to pop it. One, two, three. Ooh, there it goes. Ooh, it's slowly going. Oh, you hear that? Ooh. Wow. I'll let it deflate. And I'm going to do the next one. There we go. And the other one. Ooh, look at that. Hear that? Ooh, I didn't know it would crack like that. That's neat. Feels like hard ice. You know, I had ice and you break it in the wintertime. You hear it? So it'll probably take a little bit to get that out of there. Oof. Hopefully I'll come out of there. So I'm going to play with these a little bit and let's see if I can get this one out. And there we bend it. It's sticking like some of the is sticking to the balloon because uh, it had glue on there. But because it's hard, you can move it around. And it's slowly deflating. You could probably put more holes in it, probably go faster. There. <laughs> That's funny. So, I'm going to stick this in here. piece right here needs to come off a little bit. Can we do that? There we go. Ooh, look at that. That is so cool. Yeah. See? Neat, huh?
I don't know how much you're seeing. I hope you can see this. I'm going to bring you over a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> Look at it's shrinking slowly. That's so cool. Yeah, this is going to be hard because I put a lot of twine here for whatever reason. Probably too much. but It's kind of neat. And I'll play with this one. And the other ones will slowly deflate. And you just kind of got to find a hole where you can take it out. Got a little bit of glue on there, but not bad. Like, uh, you can clean it up. And see, it's hard from the glue, so you can just kind of... Oh, that's kind of cool. Got a little hole here. Yeah. I wonder if I can get this stuff out. It's just pieces of the glue. So you kind of want to take that out the best you can. She you don't want to have it as a decoration, you know. <laughs> I've never done this before, so this is all trial basis here. But it was fun. A little bit messy, and it took a little time. So, you know. Yeah. Might take me a little bit to clean these up, though. So... You know, to get this all off. <coughs> yeah, it's kind of cool, though. Look. I like it. <laughs> I just don't like all the glue there. You know? So if I can get rid of all this glue, that would be better. So... Probably put too much glue, maybe. But I did string it. I just... And you want to make sure you're going to have enough to stick, you know. You don't want it to not stick, you know. And you can bend it a little bit to fix it. So, like, once I put stuff in there. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm probably not going to take the time to pull all this out right now because it's going to take a little bit. And I'll show you kind of what it's going to look like so you get the idea. I'm sure you guys already do, but... We'll do it anyways. And then I'll take it out. I'll clean that all up myself when I'm on my own. And I got some more time. So, how the hell did they... How did they do this? This is your sample thing here or whatever. Oh, I think you just take it off of here. I think. Is that what you do? I don't know. And of course, it doesn't give you any directions. You know, why give this somebody this? Is it going to work still? I hope it is. Yeah, it works. So, try me. Push the button. Well, that's just a try me button. So, I don't know. How? Here, let's cut this. I can get it out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not spending all day trying to get it out of here. <laughs> These are cute little lights, though. I thought they'd be fun. All right, so let me see. This thing right here must come off. And this is just your thing. So how the heck do you pull this off? Yep. And then you leave that open? No, I don't like that idea. Do you cut this off? Oh, maybe it's just loose. Let's see. I've never really dealt with it. Um, no, it's got shrink in there. So, hmm. So I thought it just pull apart from here. Let's see.
I got that back on. I don't know. I really, really don't. Alright, so I'm going to take this off of here. We'll do this, okay? And of course, it doesn't give you any directions from this stupid uh, button here. <coughs> I guess you could keep it on there and just, ooh, and just use that button. But then it's not going to stay on like you want. I don't know. Why would you want that button, right? So I'm going to take all of this out of here. And then I got to put some batteries in this little doodad. So let me see what we got. Does it pop off? Or does it have a screw? I don't know. What's this say here? Hmm. Some of them have screws on them. This one looks like it pops open. I'm trying to open it. So I don't want to break it either. There we go. Got it. There. So and I got some batteries here. So we're gonna put these in there, okay? And it takes two, so we've got two, and we're going to put them in here. Oh, I hope these fit. They're supposed to fit. Yeah. There we go. And we can put this back on. Oop, upside down. That's okay. understand what you go here at all because this is the shrink wrap here that they put on here but they should have had it where you disconnected this all together I mean who needs that right and does it say anything um no uh, and and I, I can barely read that. So I don't know what to do. I mean, if I take that off and just leave that, I really don't like that either. I mean, that's kind of crappy, isn't it? I guess you could just turn it and twist it. So. Anyways, so here's the lights. They are very pretty. It'll look really nice in here, I think. And I'm just going to kind of weave them in there. Oh, that's what you do. You can open this up a little bit. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything, right? So, and then you just weave this in here. And I'm going to weave it in. Maybe I'll bunch it up first. And see if that'll work. I don't know. They had pearl ones, and I thought they would look nice in this, too. That probably what I should have got, because I like pearls. I'm a pearl girl, so it would have been really pretty to have pearls, you know. So I'm going to roll this.
and just plop it in there. And I'm going to jiggle it around a little bit so I can kind of get an effect here. And put them in a little bit closer. I still, I'm going to have to ask Shea Bear about this because that's not right. I just don't like it. But I'm going to show you how what it's going to look like. So you guys got an idea. And we'll put it all in here. And see, that was my thing. Okay, I got this thing in here. And yeah, I can turn it off right but who wants to look at that bar that big old thing right and i don't want it hanging out on the outside so my thing is i'll put this over here somehow and i'm going to just spread these on top then my thing was to take some of this stuff and just throw it in there ball it up and just kind of put it on top of stuff a little bit and that way you know i mean i just don't like the idea how you you're seeing that dang thing but i like the idea of the lights it looks so pretty you know and i just it's cracking still over here because i haven't done anymore with this one and this one has slowly put a couple more holes in these two here let that crack some more this one's the big one So, this is like straw stuff. And maybe you could use the colored stuff if you want it. But I was thinking I could throw some of this in here. This is just my thinking thought. Period time. <laughs> it may not work. I don't know. And I'll just lay it all in there a little bit on top. And you want it down the bottom because you want to be able to, you know, not be able to see that sucker. I mean, I'm still going to see it, I guess, no matter what. But it's, you know, you can just take the excess out because it don't really matter. Kind of camouflage it. That's what you're doing. Kind of camouflaging it a little bit. Okay. And then kind of put the things kind of on top if you can. <coughs> Excuse me, it's that mid. That mid again. Alrighty.
Kind of looks pretty, see? And I mean, I could probably add a little bit more in there just to keep the, you know, keep the box away a little bit. We're still cracking over here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I might just put a little bit more in there and just kind of to camouflage the the thing a little bit, you know. I mean, these are LED lights, and they're not going to burn. They're not going to get hot. So we're okay. We're not going to burn up the house. Not with these, anyways. Besides, I wouldn't leave them on all night, anyways. Kind of. Now, you want to try to spread these because, I mean, you know, kind of just whatever. Kind of do what you think is best for you. I'm trying to still take some of that glue out of there yeah and you just kind of clean it up a little bit okay so I kind of made a whole hole so I can just squeeze it back you know you have to be careful be dainty I'm not a dainty person but I'm not real rough either and you get anything that's raggy coming out there see and then that way there you go Hopefully you see that nice. And yeah, I see that glue. I know. Uh, I'll take it off and play with it. It's going to take some time to get that all off. But at least you guys can see it and you get the idea of it. And uh, yeah. yeah. It should be able to get all that off because it's just dry. And it's just hanging. So you just want to get rid of it. You know, just pick it off. That's what I'm doing. You know. But this is my first time doing this. This is pretty cool. If I could get to be a pro, I'd sell these suckers. Yeah. Because they're really pretty. You know? And you could put other things in there if you want. Um, I was saying, like, if you want to do for the holidays, you could put green lights in there, red lights in there for Christmas. You could put, uh, for Halloween, you could do orange. And put orange, orange lights in there. I mean, these lights, you buy them at Dollar Tree or Dollar General, and they're not that much. Now, I got these ones at Dollar General. But they have them at Dollar Tree, too. I've seen them. And uh, they're only a dollar there, so, you know. I think I paid three for these, but it was a convenience too. I was there, so, and our Dollar Tree's halfway across town from where I live, so it's not so convenient. Anyways, I'm still picking, sorry. Okay, anyways, that's what you get. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the other two on my own so you don't have to sit here and be bored. And then I'll come back and show you after. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Monkey 1000 again, and it's been several days, but I did finish them. I did put the stuff in. I put red in this one just so you could see the difference. Um, you know, you can do what you want and put what you want inside them. I think it's a cool idea. Um, I, the only bad thing was the glue. It did stick to the everything inside, so you had to peel it out. It took time to do that, and I all I didn't get it all. I, <laughs> It, it takes a while so um, I don't know what you could use if you could use that Mod Podge stuff I don't know if that would work and something clear like a, I think they have glue that's clear now maybe you could use something like that um, you know but I think it, it's it's cute idea. I got the tray like I said at Dollar Tree they had the round ones I came up made these pretty big and I probably should have had the round tray that they had and then I would have had more room on it but you could do whatever you want and uh, you know um, this one I 
I probably wouldn't have made them so big, but it's okay. I'm going to turn them on so you can see what they look like. And see, this was the reason why I put them on here. And I wanted to hang them in the corner, but um, the thing is with the corner, how are you going to turn them on and off all the time? You know, you have to kind of put your fingers in here and, and turn them on. So there's the buttons there. I know they have remote controller ones, but they're not these tiny. They're big ones, and they cost. So, you know, you don't want to go too too expensive with this. This is cheap and e easy to make. And if you wanted to do it for a gift, you could. You can make them for a gift. I will turn off the lights here so you can see them. And see how pretty they look. There you go. And they look pretty. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I like that. And you can see see them. Yeah, really nice, huh? And I mean, it's a cute little decoration. I mean, these things do poke up, but I mean, it's not supposed to be perfect. You know, it's a little messy kind of thing. And you could put other things on there. You could maybe make two. And let's say you want to put a candle here. I'll show you. I have a candle here and we'll put a candle in between and you know do it something like that so um here let me light this up real quick try to give you a, another way of doing things you know i got this candle here and i love this candle it smells so good i've been using it quite a bit so there we go and you could put a candle in the middle, you know? Do it like this. I have one of these ones that are in a jar. So it's kind of cool. And there you go, you know? You could do that. Um, you know, you can use your imagination and do what you want. I'll take this one away so you kind of get the more idea of it. And I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's neat nice little thing so and then you can change it up you could put a uh, you know a battery um, candle there if you wanted to too if you wanted you can do whatever you want so let me put my candle back here and uh, you can make them for you know you can put different colors inside to go with the season you know um, for fall, you can put orange and, and red and maltite the inside. You can put stuff all inside them. I didn't want too much in because I got the lights going. And you know, this stuff will hide if you put too much in there, they'll hide. I just wanted them to kind of camouflage the uh, battery thing so it doesn't, you can't see it. You know, so. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it took so long to finish it, but I was in between work and, and doing some other stuff and doctor appointments, so I didn't really have much time. But that concludes it, and um, yeah, make it your own. That's what I say. It give you the idea so you can be creative on your own and do something. So anyways, enjoy. Hopefully you'll have a great Thanksgiving if I don't get another one up. And... Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Monkey says she's out.